evening, my friends. I hope you're all well. Welcome to the Best Headboard 2 channel on YouTube. I'm your host, Pounce, and I'm always happy to provide you with meaningful information about the game. A quick update for those of you who watch the videos with subtitles. Please excuse the sometimes poor wordings as I use Google Translate from the original English language track to your language, meaning sometimes words or phrases are translated without the intended meaning. If you find the subtitles too fast, please go to the YouTube settings and reduce the playback speed of the video bottom right to 0.5 or 0.75 of the normal speed. Then it should be easier to read and follow. Becky, how are you this evening, my dear? Could you please go over the results of the latest polls and votes? I am well, my lord, thank you. We had a poll on four Good. possible topics and here are the results that determine the theme for today's video. There were in total 60 votes. Robots and bots, okay. how to spot and recognize them wow. was first with 68% of the vote. Team season full explanation plus pro tips was second with 17% of the vote. Third place was diamonds, how to manage, use and get them with 13% right. of the vote and finally, last place with only a tiny 2% of the vote was season pass full explanation plus pro tips. Based on the results of the polls, tonight's video will be the full explanation of identifying robots whilst playing the game. You will be discussing and explaining the team season in detail this coming Saturday, January 29th, 2022. Thank you so much, Becky. I need to bring a news item to your attention regarding superpowers in the game. A few days ago, a subscriber brought to my attention that the cost of superpowers has increased dramatically. This, as you can see, affects the North American server. I checked my server, the Indian one, and the prices for all superpowers remain the same. This is a great shame and very unfortunate if your server has become a victim of Massimo's greedy and predatory tactics. You must remember that every server has common and different features in terms of all aspects of the game. The most obvious feature is the pricing offers and market deals, since all servers charge different prices for the same thing. The fans and subscribers have spoken and voted, so it's time for robot identification. Let us get right into it. First, we will see what Massimo has to say about why you do face robots and not real human players. Then we will look at how to identify robots before the game, during the game, and after the game. There are obvious signs that will only become clear if you recognize them. That's why this video was made. Becky, please take us to the general section of the Massimo website, would you? Of course, my lord. Thank you. So here we are in the game's help center, which you can access, as you saw, by clicking on the settings wheel, clicking on support, scrolling down to general, and finally clicking on I'm pairing with so many virtual players. I strongly believe that each section should be read so that you fully grasp and understand the terminology, description, and purpose of each feature of the game. But let us read the concerned section together before we look at all the ways to identify robots. Bots are available in all online games. The main purpose is to provide players a better and fluent gamer experience in situations such as connection problems and inability to find opponents. If you are constantly matched with bots, you must first make sure your internet connection quality is good. If your connection quality is good, this means the system was unable to find you a suitable opponent on the server you are connected to. In that case, we recommend that you reconnect to the game in different time periods. What we read means two basic things. The first reason why you will not face real players but robots means that in the country where you play, there are not many players playing the Headball 2 game near you or in your location. The quality of the internet connection also plays a role, but it's not the main reason why you will not play against real players. For example, in the country where I live, Mauritius, in the Indian Ocean, I searched the top 1,000 local leaderboards and found only 5 players from Mauritius. If there are not enough players living nearby at the time you are connected, you will be paired with robots. I hope this makes sense. Now that we have identified the why, let us go to the pre-game loading screen to identify some ways you can detect and identify robots. 
Number one, you will face exactly the same character every time after a victory. If you are on a winning streak, for me it's two to three matches, you will face the same character over and over again at maximum power. For example, if you use level 7 characters, I will always match up against Flash Punk at level 7. If I use another level 6 character, it's the same. Play against level 7. I posted a game video last year where I played 10 matches with different characters and skill cards and showed the level of the robots I played against. The link is in the description below. After a loss, you will be paired with a weaker character like Sky Master, Destruction Lord, Doom Lord or Omen. But after a few wins, you will be paired with Flash Punk again. It may be different on the server you are in, that you will be paired with different characters. But the morale is that the robot always chooses the same strongest character. Number two, if you see that every single player you are playing against has the same country flag as you, that is a sign you are dealing with a robot. In my case, you will see the flag of the United Kingdom. The flag that was given to me when I registered and my opponent's flag is that of Mauritius. My opponents, who are always bots, always show only the flag of Mauritius, the country of my internet connection. Number three, rude and derogatory team names. Massimo is very vile and rude. You will sometimes see your opponent's team names being racist, sexual, hateful and more. While some real players create teams with such name characteristics, so does Massimo. You think players have no idea about this, but I have been playing this game for three years, always playing against robots, and you will not believe the names I have seen. This is really despicable behavior from Asmo. Now let us identify robots from a recent game. Number one, same superpower sequence. If you look closely, you will notice that in the vast majority of cases, the robots use the same superpowers in the same sequence. This is a screenshot of the first robot I play, and you can see that the superpowers are Large Goal, Disorient, Bomb, Times 2, Fireball and Freeze. The second robot I am showing you has exact same superpowers in different order. Basically the bots have the same superpowers and often the same order of use. Number two, extremely high jumps and gaps. Robots do what human players do not do. They jump very high and hit the ball with a large gap between their heads and the ball. This is a clear sign that you are playing against the robot. Number three, lack of use of emojis. Real players usually like to make fun of their opponents by using emojis. Robots very rarely use emojis. This is another clear sign that you are playing a robot. Number four, your controller freezes after a long winning streak. This is the case for me between 100 and 200 wins. It varies, but the game never lets me beat my winning streak. You will notice that the controls are clicked for you automatically and there is a delay. This is also a clear sign that you are playing against robots the majority of the time. He doesn't want to advance to his opponent. Hats off to that amazing goal. He tried his luck with a header. He cleared the ball with his head. The ball hit the post and bounced back. He's juggling the ball on his head. We're halfway through the match. Bounced off the goal post. It's not over yet for the losing side. A shot from the air. Brilliant save. He's defending with all he's got. He's really up for the task. Only 30 seconds left until the final whistle. He's like a fortress now. He became a panther. Goal, goal, goal! He headed the ball towards the goal. Both players are showing great reflexes. He made it obvious from the beginning that he was going to... What's happening? An own goal. Great reflexes by the player. The last 10 seconds starts now, and the ball is in the net. Brilliant save. We are in. The fans are going wild. Perfect strike. That's a fine header. And the match is over. It was a match where tactics decided the winner. We have now reached the end of the game screen. To check and confirm that you are playing against the robot, you just need to click on your opponent's name, which will take you to his profile screen. Number one, number of fans and fan boost. Explain to me how someone 
with 1,227 fans, a fan boost of 0%, and in Amateur League 3, can have Flash Punk at level 7 and the heroic accessories. Clear sign that this is a robot. Now let us look at the second robot. I played, same story, zero fan boost, 470 fans, and as I said in the beginning, the same character at level 7, Flashpunk with heroic accessories, obvious sign of the robot. Number 2, current league, all robots will play in very low leagues, as you can see here, amateur 3 and the same for the previous robot. The answer has always been there, maybe you did not look closely enough. Number 3, character and XP level, I already said this with both profiles, I showed you. How can a player with a total of 1,200 or 470 fans in Amateur League 3 have the exact same character with the exact same accessories and a high XP of level 45 to 50? To get XP points and characters, you need to play for a while and gain experience. Of course, you can buy characters, but this is ridiculous. Number four, registration time. Robots have a very short or recent registration time. For this one, it's two days, and in those two days, he managed to reach XP level 45 and unlock Flash Punk and Heroic Accessories. Please. And the other idiot is the same. Two months registration and he also managed to unlock Flash Punk at level 7 and collect Heroic Accessories. That's too funny. Number 5. Last but not least, Superpowers at level 10. Both profiles showed the Superpowers at level 10 for which you need a large number of gems and most importantly time. I can guarantee you that you will not reach level 10 in two days to two months. It takes much more time than that. Even if you have invested a fortune of real money in the game, it took me a year to figure this out about robots. When I found out I was facing robots all the time, I was, I'm not going to lie, extremely disappointed. But that's the way it is. I am facing robots and that's not going to change. I had and still have the option to play or not play. I choose to continue playing, but wisely. And I must not forget to mention that my goal is also to provide you with meaningful game content in my YouTube videos that will help you with your game. So I'm here to stay, my friends. So there you have it, folks. That's it for identifying playing against robots. Next video based on your votes is the team season with all the explanations and tips scheduled for next Saturday, January 29th, 2022. I was your host, Pounce. We'll see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.